Hi, and welcome to an overview of the OnFleet and Shopify integration. The OnFleet and Shopify integration is designed to streamline the order creation process, leveraging Shopify's local delivery feature and other customizable delivery methods. Some of the features of the integration include two-way data syncs and automatic task creation. Tasks will be automatically created from Shopify orders, and the statuses will be updated in both systems. The configurable delivery time slot feature enables merchants to set up delivery time slots that customers can select prior to checkout. The extensive customization options allow merchants to customize the integration for various Shopify order fulfillment models. Let's begin with the configuration process. I will head to OnFleet and find my API key for this integration. If you do not already have an API key, you can create one, and I will be using my current one. I'll click Copy and head back to the integration configuration. I will add in my API key and my OnFleet organization email. I will then click Connect. Let's head over to the location configuration page. I will click Connect on my main store location and then go into the location configuration details. Monthly tasks can be created from Shopify orders in two ways. You can use the local delivery feature, which allows you to set up delivery zones within Shopify, where the address that the customer enters will be checked for eligibility. You can also choose to add in other delivery methods. If you have apps that create subscription orders, that type of delivery method can be added and monthly tasks will be created from it. I'll begin by choosing local delivery. We will then see that we have to configure the local delivery for this location. I will enable local delivery for this location and verify the information. You can use various methods such as zip codes or delivery radius. For my case, I will be using zip codes. I already have a zip code configured. You could also set a minimum order price and a delivery price, which customers will see upon checkout. I will click save and head back to the integration configuration. You can choose what types of tasks are created from Shopify orders. You can choose to have pickup and drop-off tasks created or just drop-off tasks. If you choose pickup and drop-off tasks, the pickup address will be the location address in OnFleet. I will choose drop-off task, and let's continue to the auto assignment options. You can configure auto assignment options, which will automatically assign tasks to drivers based on the distance or the load. You can also choose order fulfillment settings. There are also additional settings that you can configure, such as delivery time slots. You can configure delivery time slots based on your operation, and these time slots will be shown to the customer upon checkout. The zip codes that you have configured within local delivery must match the zip codes here in order to ensure the correct address is validated and the correct location is shown in the widget. You can then choose the delivery time slots. Time slots can be configured for the week and you can enable or disable specific days. By enabling a day, by default, you have the full time slot for the day, so when the customer checks out for that day, they'll be only able to pick that time slot from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can also add an additional time slot if you want to offer more delivery options throughout the day. Here, we can see now there are three time slots that a customer can choose from on this day. You can also enable prep time for orders. You have the option of setting the prep time to be in minutes, hours, and days. The prep time will determine how much time is needed before the next available time slot is shown to the customer during their checkout process. You can also enable a cutoff time. So if orders are placed after this time, it will only show the time slots for the next available day. You can also enable customers to leave a note during the checkout process. Let's click Save. We can now see that this location is configured. Let's take a look on my store and see how this looks. When the customer is checking out, they'll be able to add their item to the cart and then search for their zip code to check their eligibility. The zip code is eligible for local delivery and the customer could then choose a date. Let's pick a date where we have various time slot options and choose the 12 to 1 p.m. time slot. The customer can now add in the delivery node and click checkout. Once the customer enters their address, it will be validated to see if it's eligible for local delivery, and the customer can choose the local delivery. Let's now place the order. We can see the order is now placed. If we head back to Shopify and look at our order, 
We can see the information that the customer entered on the notes field. We can see the delivery date, the delivery time, and the zip code. If the merchant wishes to update the delivery time within Shopify, they can do so with the Shopify meta fields. Let's take a look in Onkly. We can now see that we have our date set for the 29th, and we can see that the task has been created. We can see the quantity of the order, we can see the Shopify order ID, we can also see the complete after and the complete before that has been set from Shopify. Once this task is assigned and started, the respective statuses will be reflected in Shopify, which will also reflect for the Shopify customer on the Shopify tracking page.